Hello everyone, happy Friday. Welcome to another travel vlog. Can you see this incredible view behind me? I'll show you properly in a second. Jas and I are in Brussels. We got here, oh God, at about 9 a.m. this morning. We took the Eurostar and our train was ridiculously early. It was like at 6.30 in the morning. So we got to King's Cross at 20 past five this morning, which means that we woke up at 3.45? I don't know, something stupid like that. So we are super tired and hence why I look like crap, but it is an absolutely gorgeous day outside. It is so warm, I'm actually quite sweaty. It's so nice outside, it literally does feel like spring. I think yesterday was officially the first day of spring and today I think it is 19 degrees, which is amazing. We kind of arrived at the hotel and our room wasn't ready for us to check into. Um, and so we just dumped our luggage and went for a bit of a walk around the streets just um, nearby. So it looks like a really nice area, but we were just dying to like check into our hotel room to be honest, because I'm not dressed for this weather and I've brought skirts with me and I just wanna get all like dressed up and go out so that's what we're gonna do now but before we sort of unpack and mess up the room let me give you a quick room tour this is the bathroom area but forget that we've kind of started to unpack already but I wanted to show you just check out this room it is absolutely incredible we paid a little bit extra to book a dual aspect room which is what this is called so you've got like the corner um kind of view and it's insane. There's so many ladybirds on the window as well, but just check out this view. It's really bright and sunny, but I'm hoping that like, maybe when it's a little bit overcast, um, I won't get these shadows and I'll try and show you properly. But yeah, there we go. So, like an hour later, because it's somebody made me have a nap, we're finally going out um, to explore. He fell asleep. I was like- Five minutes snooze. And he was like, make sure you don't fall asleep because I'm not very good after a nap. Yeah, once you fall asleep, you're gone all day. I basically, yeah, pretty much. And he's like, make sure you don't fall asleep. Then if he's sleeping, like, what am I supposed to do? <laughs> yeah, it's off the <laughs> I had to stop vlogging because this police officer got out of the lift and walked <laughs> straight into me. Then that, I walked into the lift. That was hilarious. Just come out. He's like, there's a police outside our hotel. Anyway, we're not sure where we're going. We're just going to explore. So let's go. Okay, there's loads of police. This is the side entrance to our hotel. So we reckon someone famous is staying here. And I think it's Obama. <laughs> um, because my friend told me Obama stays at this hotel when he comes to Brussels. Look, they have a police escort. someone famous was coming out of the hotel and they did um i don't know who it was but he had like a police escort like front and back so we think it's someone like a politician or like some royal family person no one like kim kardashian or anything the only thing exciting but now we are going to the mima museum we're right the metro right we need to figure out which way we're going yeah this way oh do you know yeah yep okay let's go two or six towards um this is three stop three stops to arts Louis. Well, that is. Uh, there. Okay. Then from there you're going to get one or five. Left or right? Basically towards... Um, One's a purple line. Little like health food shop slash organic shop that we've stumbled upon. It's really cute in here. Kind of smells though, they've got a lot of smelly cheese, I guess, on the way. <laughs> and we found it. Let's come to the Mima Museum. It just made us sneak into the hotel across the road from there because he assumed that because it's opposite the museum they'd have some sort of like discount thing and they had leaflets that give you a two euro discount so every little helps that's four euros a pound okay let's go inside So cool. It's like urban art and it's like an optical illusion. 
Oh, well, the lights are flashing a second ago. I can't find it there, Johnny. Really? I think so. I don't know the dark jumping at the point. Yeah, the lights start flashing. It's so cool. It's really bad though if you've suffered from like, epilepsy or whatever, but it's quite hard to take a photo too. Good. Yeah? Yeah, well, the good, the good things always look <laughs> for, aren't they? Yeah, like the first floor, so it's split into four floors. Well, ground floor, two more floors, and a rooftop. The ground floor and the rooftop were pretty good. The ground floor was the best. The middle two floors were just so weird and a bit of a waste of time, so, like, it was cool, but. My, my verdict is if you're bored, then go. <laughs> it's not wow. I have been to three ones which are better than that. But. I also have a feeling it's one of the best things to do in Brussels. I've had a lot of people like say it's amazing and you have to go. So doesn't say a lot. But now we're going to a place called the Beer Project for a drink. It is 5:30. We haven't really eaten all day. Well, I haven't eaten, have we? No. Nope. Have you, I? You didn't like your uh, lunch. Yeah, we went to this little like Thai takeaway little place. Um, for a quick bite to eat and we couldn't check into the hotel and oh it was terrible i couldn't eat anything i'm so hungry <laughs> but apparently we have to have a beer or a drink at the person's beer project which is further up this way I just do some beer tasting and we're doing the all-star flight which is the top four beers and you get like a small portion of each one to try this should be interesting oh look this one says passion fruit and mango yeah. second one down jungle joy that's what we got it hmm. interesting <laughs> So I had some really horrible chips from the kebab shop, but <laughs> they were disgusting, weren't they? Yeah. Um, but now we're doing some beer tasting. No, no potatoes. Hardly no potatoes on the chips. It's like it's all more butter. Yeah, they were just gross. I needed food, and I was like literally nowhere else. Like no one has like menus in the window. It's a bit of a weird time because restaurants aren't quite open yet. Cause it's five o'clock. Um, so I'd like to grab a quick bite. It's like something to eat. Um, and now we're just drinking beer. Apparently. Local beer, locally brewed. I think I, I think this is the one that's mango and passion fruit that I forgot to ask about. Yep. But you have to drink it in order apparently. So you. So apparently you have to go one, two, three, four. You you can't sip each one. It's not bad this one. <laughs> I'm just saying of the camera, it's not bad. <laughs> okay. Enjoy it. That's actually quite nice. <laughs> and it's smooth, isn't it? It's actually... It's a bit of aftertaste. Yeah, it's actually much smoother, isn't it? Much more... It feels smoother than... The beer we normally have out of a can or something. Or... I like it. I hate the beers getting to our head. Um, I saw something on the menu that basically just said cheese or sausage and comte. I don't know what that is. So it said jazz. So I was like, go up to the till, find out what it is, and if it sounds like um, you want tempting, it. then just order it. It was only like six euro. It's like a block of. <laughs> Bread, mustard and gherkins, which is all very well, but I hate mustard and gherkins. So cheese and bread? I don't mind it. I don't mind a little bread here and there. So it's cheese is nice. Oh yeah, that's fine. Nice. God. Fan, and I still don't understand how we ended up with a block of it, but 
I tried the second beer, the mango and passion fruit one, and oh my god, it is so good. It's really nice, isn't it? Oh, delicious. Happy Saturday, everyone. I'm going to have to be careful where I stand, actually, because I'm half naked. <laughs> Jas and I have had a super lazy day today. It's so cloudy. It looks like it's about to chuck it down. It's kind of cold today as well, but yesterday... I was so tired. We walked over 20,000 steps. We were awake for like, I don't know, like how long were we awake for? I don't even know, like over 20 hours. And we couldn't find food. It was really cold towards the end of the evening. <laughs> <clears throat> And I woke up feeling a bit sniffly. So we had a proper lay-in. We had breakfast at the hotel, which wasn't great, but it's included, so it's fine. And we've just been bamming around today. It's been really nice, actually. Just went to check out the spa. There's a sauna and a steam room and a gym here. Unfortunately, no pool. I wasn't sure, so I brought swimwear anyway. So we might go to the sauna and the steam room a bit later or maybe tomorrow. I don't know. But it's not really my thing because I can't see. I'm kind of blind. And so I don't know what I'm doing, like, when I'm in a steam room and I can't wear contact lenses inside because I'll probably melt in my eye. So, yeah, that's not ideal. But. We have just been taking some photos because when it's a cloudy day, it's perfect to take like photos against windows. And I've taken some completely ridiculous ones in my dressing gown, um, but I can't wait to see what they look like. I've just taken mine, it's taken forever to take my photos, but now it's Jas's turn, so I'm gonna put some clothes on and take some photos of him. I would vlog it, but I've only brought one camera with me, so we're using this camera to take photos. Um, so yeah, sorry about that, but I'm sure you can imagine it's not very funny. Um, it's just, well, me getting my photos taken was, because I was like, help me slide. I was like, slide, I was laying on this, and I was like, help me slide along this i have my legs up here they're probably not going to make the cut so don't look out for them you probably won't see them but yeah it was funny anyway i better go um, and i will like vlog when we're next doing something interesting that involves leaving this hotel room <laughs> <laughs> that's bad <laughs> i'm recording you by the way this is getting my vlog what are you doing <laughs> it's supposed to be behind the scenes <laughs> Anyway, yes! Good luck. What did you drop? Is all this stuff on the floor? Yeah, that's not what I'm doing, that's your doing. I'm just really, I'm actually minding my own business. Now. Okay, yeah, let's go back to photos. I can't stand in bed forever. I thought I'd do a little outfit of the day because I haven't done one for ages. Um, I'm wearing these, like, um, what are they even called? Like, trousers with like stripes down the side from MS. I got those in the sale. My usual Adidas trainers. Um, I've just got a black top with a vest top that has these on underneath my scarf my jacket this wasn't very exciting was it um but i'm supporting that red lip that i had on earlier and we are finally leaving the hotel i thought i would just tell you this while i'm inside my room um so that i don't bump into any more police officers on the li in the lift on the way out are you ready yep okay let's go how fancy are these lifts like every single lift there's about six has a different picture in it and it's like it could be the cover of vogue it's really cool um, let's try and call another one and see which one's coming. See, it looks like a hair ad slash the cover of Vogue. But yeah, the hotel lobby is very grand. Oh, it's raining, it's so annoying. Um, we have just walked down to Place Poliart which is supposed to be like beautiful, like architecturally, but it's under construction as is most of Brussels at the moment, which is really annoying. So this is kind of like a thing to see, but as you can see there's scaffolding and yeah. So Google Maps brought us this way and it tells us we need to walk straight. So you have to go like down this elevator. How cool is that? But this would be like a really nice view of the city if it wasn't so foggy.
looks like it's all so run down here and closed and the streets are really empty and it's just really weird but this is apparently it. <laughs> this looks so weird. It's a German dish. It's like potato, apple, and onion mash and with a sausage. vegan sausage. And that's a vegan grilled cheese hot dog sandwich. Very strange. <laughs> <laughs> this is actually really good, and so is the sausage. At first, I thought this was my favourite, but this by far is my favourite. Mm. And these homemade chips taste just like my grand ones because she actually like chops up potatoes and mm. fries them and makes chips. I don't know anyone else who does that. These aren't that great, they're just a bit boring aren't they? Yeah. What's your favourite? Um, probably sausage sandwich. Mm. For me. Me too. I love the chips as well. So good. Use a sauna or a steam room. The restaurant wasn't that great. The food was all right. Yeah, it was all right. Um, it was like a really weird place. I was trying to go for this like I don't know, like shabby, chic, hipster, minimalist vibe, but it was just really shabby in there. There was like no sort of decor. It was just a really weird place, and they kind of serve the food in the dishes it's cooked in, which you kind of wouldn't do at home either, even though it's meant to be like homemade. It was alright, I wouldn't go back. I did think it was a bit expensive for what it was, but we did order a lot of food, so we are very full. Got our complimentary drinks from the mini bar. And we thought we'd just sit down and drink them, really. Morning, here's a little outfit of the day for you. I have this cropped jumper on from Primark. It has this detailing on the sleeves. My leopard print skirt, my usual Adidas trainers, and my Mimi sunglasses, which I hardly ever um, wear. I do love these, but they just don't sit on my head because they've got these nose bits and they get all tangled up in my curly hair which is very annoying and I have a brand new necklace on from Newbridge Silver which I need to try and photograph at some point today because I want to put that up on Instagram but we are off to Bruges today so let's go I still haven't had a coffee. Our hotel ran out of soy milk, which is very annoying. Um, and they don't have really any vegetarian options for breakfast. Yesterday I had cereal, but that meant I couldn't even have that today because there's no soy milk. And we've just come to the train station because we're getting the train to Bruges, um, which leaves in about 10 15 minutes. But we've just come to a few coffee shops because most of them don't do soy milk here. So I'm finally getting my coffee. Then we get on the train, go to Bruges. And I don't know if we'll have enough time, but we're going to try and go from Bruges to Ghent as well. Because if you do like a weekend round trip at the weekends, it's half price. So the tickets cost us 30 euro altogether, which is really good because normally it costs 60 if you do it during the week. So, yeah, really happy with that. And now we're going to get on the train. They run like all day up until about midnight. in Brussels was awful but look what I found in Bruges and they spelt my name correctly I'm very impressed with that and he pronounced it right as well sure did. but now we're in Bruges <laughs> look at how gorgeous Bruges is
Jason True is absolutely incredible. Just queuing up to take photos with it, as you do. Compared to Brussels, like Bruges is amazing, but Bruges is just so cute anyway. This place is so adorable, it's like really quaint, not that touristy, everything's all pastel coloured. Yes, it's sunny today, which obviously helps, but it's just a thousand times nicer than Brussels, isn't it? Yeah, it's definitely cute. I can see why, like, people before we came, people were like, Why are you going to Brussels? It's so crap. Um, I can totally see why because this is so much nicer. lunch i'm so tired i'm so hungry so cold i feel like i'm getting a cold I've just come to somewhere that does like burgers fries omelettes i just want an omelette i was saying to chas i want some like good food we've not had like any outstanding meals since we've been here um our hotel breakfast is the worst it is like terrible if you're vegetarian because you can't really have anything hot and their bread's like just awful for like toast and they ran out of soy milk so I can't have cereal. There's like, and even the fruit is terrible. They don't even have bananas. They have pancakes. They have Prosecco, which is so weird for breakfast. But like their pancakes are always cold and like, I like berries, which I understand that like most hotels wouldn't do like berries. But if you're gonna be like fancy and have Prosecco, then be fancy and have berries for your pancakes. Um, and their toppings are really weird. You just have like, icing sugar, maple syrup, which isn't very nice, honey or strawberry jam. Um, I don't know, I, I just don't like the food there. Um, we've kind of been having one meal a day since we've been here. So I just want something good. And you can't really go wrong with a cheese omelette and chips. Um, so that's what we're doing. I don't think we have time to make it to Ghent on the way back, are we? No, that's right. I love Bruges so much. If you guys are planning a trip to Belgium, do not go to Brussels. Brussels is so shit. Um, I booked these. I booked this trip like back in November last year when there was a Black Friday deal for Eurostar. And I just thought, oh, it's really cheap. Let's go. Just and I have been to Brussels before, which is why we're not really doing anything touristy or that touristy this time around. We last came about ten years ago, I think. Um, again, it was for a weekend. I took you for your birthday, didn't I? Yeah. Mm. No, when was it? Nine years ago, yeah. Wow. So, like, <laughs> I don't know why I thought I'd come back to Brussels. I think I dislike Brussels more than I dislike Paris. What do you think, Jess? I guess so, yeah. I, mean, I don't know, like, it's just, it has no personality. It's just so, like, the. And I was kind of going to write this whole trip off, but actually, Bruges is incredible. Um, I'm yet to try my first waffle of the trip, which I'm very excited for. Um, the fries here are pretty good, obviously. The beer that we had, not bad. Um, what else do I need to tick off? Oh, chocolate. We eat chocolate and waffles, and then we've done it all. Mm. So yeah. I mean, it doesn't look bad, does it? Let's hope it tastes better than it looks. It's your baguette dress. Didn't you get fries with your panini? No, I don't think I'll get one. <laughs> Mine looks so funny. Like, where's the omelette? <laughs> Started walking towards the market square, but it is so cold. And Jess hasn't bought his coat. I've only bought my denim jacket, which isn't really doing much. So we're going to get some chocolate, right? Yep. And I saw on someone's vlog that this is like a really good chocolate shop. It's called Dumont. Um, let me show you. So we thought we'd just try some here. Yeah? Should we go tired? Yep. I'm definitely going to be ill on the train heading back <coughs> to Brussels. It's a shame we didn't go to get um, but it's just going to be too cold, isn't it, by the time we get yep. there? Yeah. Just watching me vlog here. 
but I can't believe it. Like we dressed for summer this morning because it was really nice and sunny. You haven't even bought a coat, and it is just absolutely freezing. So yeah, we're gonna head back to Brussels. All the restaurants I gave were actually closed on Sunday. Well, they closed early, so I don't know what we're gonna do for dinner. Mm. Then we're gonna head back to the hotel. Let's see what we do from there. We're back from Bruges, and Brussels just feels so depressing. <laughs> um, we can't bother to go out for dinner, so we basically bought loads of crap from like the supermarket in the station. We have crisps, um, some paprika crisps, and Jess has got some Most like really weird. These are really weird, actually. Monster Munch. They're called Monster Munch. I can't smell <laughs> That's it. Oh, quite nice. I can smell. They're ketchup flavored. Yeah. But they look like pom bears. Yeah, that's it. Pom bears was monster munch. And we got some Milka chocolate, which probably isn't really Belgian chocolate, but you know, whatever. The um, Oreo one. And we've got some drinks at the mini bar. What else did we get? Oh, soy milk, because the stupid hotel doesn't have any. I bought little packets, little, little cartons, because I want some tea. I always want tea when I'm ill. And last night they didn't have any soy milk, so I couldn't have any tea in the room. So we have tea bags, right? Yep. Okay, so I'm gonna end this vlog here. Um, I'll probably see you tomorrow. It's our last day here, and I'm not sad about it. <laughs> so yeah, I will see you tomorrow. Morning. It's a really sunny day today. <coughs> <coughs> we're just getting ready to check out the hotel. In fact, we are ready. We're just a little bit early, but it's really bright and sunny today and I feel like absolute crap. It's really warm in this room because the sun's coming in but I've got the air con on which really isn't helping my throat. Let me show you this button. I don't think I showed you on here. I think I put it on my Instagram story that I discovered a couple of days ago. I want one of these at home. It's so cool. Basically, see all these buttons here? This one says curtain down. Oh, there we go. How cool is that? We need one of these at home, Jess. Yeah, I'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, it's so dark. Is it what happened there? Oh, you left a mug on the windowsill. Well done. Curtain yeah. up on the left. Oh yeah. This is there. so cool. Oh, yeah, like, you can do it even. <clears throat> but yeah. Anyway, <coughs> it's like quarter to one. We have to kind of leave Brussels or be at the station for about half three. So we've got two and a half hours. Yeah. Just wants to check the scooters out. My nose is dribbling. Okay, I'm gonna go check out. I'm also figure out what we're doing. Um, I'll come back. <laughs> so we just checked out the hotel and basically all over Brussels, you see these scooters um, just sort of parked randomly on street corners, outside metro stations, and it's just really weird. They're just like randomly placed and dotted around. There's a few over there as well. So Jas had a look at them, and basically you can hire them. You have to download the app, and um, I think your first three rides are like 50% off, and you basically pay for it on the app, and you hire them for as long as you want, and you just press stop on the app, and it just parks it up wherever it is. They've obviously got some sort of security device like attached to it so that people can't steal them, because they just, they're just there. It's so weird. They just park like anywhere. He wants to check it out. Um, I don't trust myself because I have balance issues, but we thought we'd like check it out and maybe hire one. What do you think? What's up? Here Are you going to do it? Yeah, there's an app. What's it called? Dot? Yeah, D-O-T-T. -T. Okay. How much does it cost? Well, a dollar, it sorry, a two. euro to initially hire it out initially then as a 15 cents uh, an, an hour, I think, or? Let me check. 15 cents an hour? No, That's let me nothing. check. I might, I might be wrong. No, let me see. Okay, anyway. It tells you where the nearest bikes are. And you can, if you can't find them, you can make them ring from far away. Okay, let's have a look. That's just so funny. Oh, the, ba the battery of the scooter yeah. is empty, so you can't drive that one. There's a few over here. <laughs> That's so weird, because if I was Armani, I'd be like really annoyed. I suppose with the red with the red dot on it, I suppose that means it's a, a battery is low, because the battery is low. Oh, this is different. These are called Lime. Yeah, I don't trust these. Different, yeah. Okay, so the battery's dead on these. I'd be really annoyed if I owned a shop. People could just park up their scooters <laughs> wherever they wanted. Where's the next nearest one? Okay. Oh my god, we finally found one that was green. Um, that little light there, which means that the battery's charged. We have walked quite away though. 
oh my god look at this we've just found a baked potato shop like i didn't think these existed outside the uk i actually posted on my instagram story like a few weeks ago saying one thing i really miss when i am um, traveling for like a long time is jacket potato it's like my favorite food i don't think it's like a meal in itself anywhere else in the world apart from the uk and i've just seen a baked potato shop how cool is that anyway we're going to this place called peck 20 for a belgian waffle our first waffle on our last day <laughs> Check out our savoury waffles. Um, what have you got? Chorizo and bacon? Yep. My mushrooms, no, my mushroom, my waffles made out of leek. I've got grilled cheese. They call this psycho sauce, which is basically hollandaise with a bit of kick to it. Poached egg salad. I've got grilled cheese as well. Coffee. Oh, grilled yes. cheese. checked into the Eurostar um, like check-in but we're sitting in the departure lounge but we're like an hour and a half early. I have to say though compared to Paris and London this is the best departure lounge isn't it? Yep. There's never enough seats in the London one and the Paris one was awful there was like really no seats there but this is like really spacious and um, we haven't gone to like... Four seats to ourselves. <laughs> So far, but that's probably because we're quite early. We haven't gone to explore the food yet, but I just can't even be bothered. All I really want to do is read my book, have some water, fall asleep, and wake up in my own bed. <laughs> I don't want to travel anywhere, Jazz. Too much travel issue, then. Anyway, I'm going to end my vlog here because we're just going home now, and I'm ill, so I'm like a really blurry. But um, if you guys have a trip to Brussels booked, then I highly recommend you just get on the first train out of here to Bruges. <laughs> yep. Don't hang around in Brussels. I think Brussels is pretty crap, to be honest. Like, there's, it, it feels like almost an extension of Paris. Um, it doesn't really have its own personality, and I wasn't very impressed with it. I know we were staying quite far out from the city centre, but currently, when we did go into the city centre one night, it's like everything is under construction so it just looks even worse than we would normally and we went to a few like viewpoints to see the whole city skyline but it's not like london or new york like nothing is lit up so it doesn't look that great but yeah there's like so many people here watching me <laughs> so i'm gonna end this vlog here i really hope you enjoyed watching it this will definitely be my last travel vlog for a very long time so i hope you enjoyed this one if you did then please give it a big thumbs up um don't forget to leave me a comment down below and i will see you next time bye Bye.